morning and welcome to you all. I guess uh, this is also being live casted, uh, live streaming is being done. So people from many countries usually participate in it. So we say hello to everybody, so the, wherever they are. So uh, we hope you'll enjoy this. Uh, we have very exciting agenda for the day. We have many uh, projects that we will be discussing in a little while. Amre shobe matro Kuala Lumpur theke firla moneke. Ekhane moneke ase jara Kuala Lumpur egil silo. We had a great time in Kuala Lumpur attending the Global Social Business Summit. We had about 107 delegates from Bangladesh out of about 600. So we are a major uh, participant in the whole uh, global summit. And it was a great summit. It's a beautiful summit. Everybody enjoyed it. Um, there are many, many new things happen. So we, uh, we really enjoyed uh, meeting everybody. We had, the, uh, we had a number of important uh, um, MOU signed uh, during that time. Among them was one uh, social business with uh, Costa Rica called FIFCO. So this is a formalized and uh, settled. Uh, then there are several more uh, with the other uh, companies that uh, uh, we were working with. So, we would, uh, so several of them uh, signed during the summit. And uh, Prime Minister of Malaysia was there. Uh, he addressed the summit and also announced a creation of a social business fund of 20 million ringgit, uh, which was also a very significant initiative on behalf of the government of Malaysia. So lots of uh, Malaysian organizations were involved, particularly My Harapan, uh, the youth organization which was a sponsor of the whole uh, summit they took a very active role in that so we say hello to my harapan people if you are on this uh, live streaming network and we thank you for all the good work that you have done during this uh, summit uh, so summit uh, ended with the new uh, location identified for next summit which should be in mexico city in november november 11 through 15 in Mexico City, Mexico. So that would be an, another uh, great location to have Global Social Business Summit. There was a lot of competition to have this next summit. Uh, Bahrain was a candidate. Uh, Indonesia was a candidate. Um, uh, Veracruz from Mexico, uh, uh, the state of Veracruz, they were a can candidate because the governor of Veracruz uh, was a candidate, uh, uh, expresses uh, Interest to look, uh, have the host the whole summit. Kaja onik gulo proti jogir madhu mai mad modde amra shidan to niram shabar shongalo chana kore jeta Mexico City tei hobe ebar kaja Mexico City jen amra to er hobe kono je poroborti summit Mexico City tei hobe. Vera Cruz er shongo chukti shoy gulo je tarar already share uh, share million dollar er ekta social business fund create kora chhe. To Shetar Chuktida, Uganeshwagolo, Veracruz, Governor Pokutik, a delegation is Chilo, Tadishungeta. We had an uh, agreement signed for a uh, social business fund in Veracruz uh, with the uh, contribution of four and a half million dollars from the state of, the state of Veracruz. And also, we had uh, uh, Godrej from India. They wanted to start a social business in Bangladesh. So that was another initiative that we had during the summit. So we had a lot of good news uh, at the summit. Another good news is uh, from another direction. This is from Albania. Uh, you remember we had the last time uh, we had the crowdfunding for $25,000 uh, for a marketing company, small marketing company as a social, social business. So it was put through Kiva Network. Kiva platform for raising money, investment money. Kiva usually uh, have been doing this for uh, raising money for microfinance, $50, $100 and something like that. So for them, this is a quite a new initiative. Kiva is a lot of money. They raise microfinance. 
individual person can encourage you to put $20, $50, $10 uh, to finance a $50 loan or $100 loan to some place in, in the world. So they took interest in social business and they thought why not raise money for social business also as an investment. So last time they did it, uh, raised uh, $25,000 through crowdfunding, meaning through internet individuals putting money, $100, $200, and total of $25,000 came within less than 24 hours. So that was a very exciting thing. They didn't realize that people would respond so quickly. Within 24 hours, they got the, uh, $25,000 raised. So now they are uh, putting up another project for Albania, and this would be $65,000 project in Albania. So this will soon go live, and all of you can visit the site and participate in that, see how it goes, and you can see how many people are putting money into it uh, as a live uh, total keeps uh, increasing on the screen as you watch it. So that will be interesting thing to watch. So this will be second example of crowdfunding. So that's uh, something very interesting to see. So we come to today's design lab. Uh, let's see if we can have some time to quickly introduce ourselves a little bit, just a name and organization, so that we get a feel of who are here uh, around the table. We start with the question and we can go around the table as we go around. Slam and again, welcome to everybody. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Ami Amir Kostu. Ami Inno Center Kas Kuchhu. Ami Parvin Mahmud, Managing Director, Gramin Telecom Trust. Ami Salma Khan, Women Right Activist, and Gramin Shuhi Dera Jom Shadarsho. Amar Nam Mahira Khatun. Ami retired. Inno Sefe Bohu Vachcha Chakri Kore Chhi Gramin Shonge Khub Shampur Kito Chilam. I have retired life. Assalamu alaikum. I am Sanul Bari. I am Managing Director of Gramin Fisheries and Livestock Foundation. Shami Manwar, Managing Director of Gramin Shamukri. Assalamu alaikum. Afsar Kamal, Managing Director of Gramin Shakti. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. Abdullah Khan, Gramin Trust. Assalamu alaikum, um, Nabib Yunus Center. Assalamu alaikum, Shibli Yunus Center. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Manjur Ahmed, Gramin Telecom Trust. Assalamu alaikum, I am Malik Muntasir Reja from Jamuna Bank Limited, SVP and Company Secretary. Assalamu alaikum, Syed Faridul Islam, Head of Risk Management, Black Bank Limited. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am Shoyedul Islam from Bangladesh Association for Social Advancement, Basha. Assalamu alaikum. I am Nazreen Sultana, Grameen Communications Managing Director. Assalamu alaikum. I am Saleha Begum, Managing Director, Grameen Web Shabikash. Assalamu alaikum. I am K. Masadu Jaman, Managing Director, Grameen Healthcare. Good morning. Jana Waterkampa from German Development Corporation. Good morning. Maria Jacob, GIZ, Bangladesh. Good morning. My name is Helen, I'm also with the German Development Agency. Good morning, Johannes Bachstetter, also GIZ German Development. Uh, good morning and assalamu alaikum. I am Mr. Wasan Wani from Education Missionaries from Thailand. Assalamu alaikum, Dajvin Kiyan, Sovereign Enterprise, CEO. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Haribur Rahman, I'm an Orthodox Deportes, plus Act is cool. She could go to Gorsi. Our Amanaka Poja say Amarama Grand Bank Action Show the show. Abong Ami Nija Action Shikarin. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Shachua Fachodri is trained. Assalamu alaikum. Ami Mohammed Moshin Alam. Reads Multiverse Cooperative. Assalamu alaikum. Ami Jahangir Alam. Ami Ronku Tegersi. Assalamu alaikum. I am Motale Hussain, Rompur Tigers. Assalamu alaikum. Rustam Ali Haladar. I am a last ticket. I am a Shadosho Kulna Tigers. Assalamu alaikum. I am a Mamma Sarbu Islam Kokon. I am a Chilmai Tigers. 
Assalamu alaikum, Muslim Abdul from Wood Development Center. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Nisha Thamid, Cash Product Manager, City Bank. Assalamu alaikum, uh, I'm Rupa Rizina Khan, I'm the Vice Chairperson for V Foundation. It's a charitable and entirely voluntary organization working with the uh, slum kids and with a very creative uh, activity. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. I'm Afsana Hamid and I'm also working for We Foundation. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, I'm Sheikh Mohammed Ismail Hussain from Shahan and Shangusta. Assalamualaikum. Uh, Pramithya Siddiqui, Grameen Telecom Trust. Assalamualaikum. Devushri Kaur, Grameen Trust. Assalamualaikum. I'm Andam Ujjal Ibrahim. Uh, I'm a lecturer, North South University Business School. Assalamu alaikum, I am Jaran Tokumar Bosho, Gram and Telecom Trust. Assalamu alaikum, I am Abu Muhammad Munayam, Gram and Telecom Trust. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, Farhat Karim Khan, Gram and Telecom Trust. Assalamu alaikum, I am Muhammad Kasar Hamid, Kachkur Siakti, Amdani Raptani, Abu Sharawara Kripotishthan. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, I am Nurjahan Ragum, Managing Director, Gram and Chika. I'm Shorbir Asif Iqbal, DFT Bangladesh Management Learning Limited, Head of Programs and International Development. Thank you. Uh, so welcome and good morning. This is Ashfaq Zaman. Uh, I'm from uh, DFT Management Learning in UK. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Mohamed Arman Hussain. I'm a Grammar Nun Kormo Gat Bogorathi Keshit. Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, for Kron Islam, Grammar Telecom Trust. Assalamu alaikum, Sultan Ahmed, Grameen Telecom Trust. Mohamad Shahzad Hashan, Istanbul University. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Dr. Mohamad Farhaman, Director of Riding Health Complex. Namaskar, I'm Mbaddo Hashan Shakma, Bagai Shuri Rangamati Tege, Sazek Union, Jethi Bangladesh Shopsi Boro Ofozela, Abang Boro Union Sazek. যেখানে কোন ধরনের সরকারি সহযোগিতা আসলে খুবই প্রয়োজন যেখানে একেবারে মিজোরাম সীমান্তবর্তী এলাকা ওই সেই সাজেক ইউনিয়নে আমরা একটা খুবই নিধি ব্যক্তিবর্গ নিয়ে একটা সদস্য করেছিলাম তো আমি সেই সমিতির সাজেকের প্রতিনিধিত্ব করছি ধন্যবাদ আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি জাকি ওমর আমি লিগ্যাল ডিরেক্টর এন্ড জেনারেল কাউন্সিল গ্রামীণ ফোরাম Sayyid Hussain, uh, we are an April entrepreneur. Sharkar uh, Ardhindu, SD Tech Promoters. The project uh, submit kore chhe kane. Shuzan Kumar Shah, I am Oskar Ami Rao Purtegar Singh, I am going to be dekta. Assalamu alaikum. Nobin Uddakta, I am going to be dekta. 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 যারা নতুন করে ব্যবসাতে যোগ দিতে যাচ্ছে এবং সোশ্যাল বিজনেসের অংশ হিসেবে তারা প্রজেক্ট নিয়ে আসছে নবীন উদ্যোক্তা বললে বুঝতে হবে যে তারা গ্রামীণ ব্যাংকের সদস্য ছেলে বা মেয়ে আমি রেখসোনা পারভিন গ্রামীণ টেলিকম ট্রাস্ট আসসালামু আলাইকুম মমতা আনোয়ার হোসেন গ্রামীণ টেলিকম ট্রাস্ট আসসালামু আলাইকুম এবং শুভ সকাল আমি फातिमा আক্তার অনুকূল ফাউন্ডেশন থেকে আসছি Assalamu alaikum, Anwar Kamal Mojumdar, Onukul Foundation, our microfinance funding. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, I'm CEO of Dana Vision Limited. Mamta Jasan, working for Marubini Corporation, a Japanese trading company. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, Jahidul Guni Chaudhuri, Artisan Ceramic Limited. Fariduddin Ahmed, Arunok Foundation. Assalamu alaikum, I'm Yusuf Ali. আমি আইটি ফ্রি আউটসোর্সিং করছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম মোহাম্মদ ইমামুল সুলতান গ্রামীণ কল্যাণ আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি মোড়ল নূর মোহাম্মদ খুলনা থেকে আসছি আজকে আমার একটা ডিক্লারেশন আছে ওয়েস্ট ম্যানেজমেন্ট আমি গত ইয়েতে নাইনথে ইয়েতে আমি উপস্থাপন করেছিলাম এবং সেটি আজকে সোশ্যাল বিজনেসে আমি ট্রান্সফার করব সেই উদ্দেশ্যেই আমি এই সেমিনারে অংশ গ্রহণ করছি ধন্যবাদ আমি 
রিটায়ার্ড এবং এখন একজন সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্কার উরিচরের জন্য আমি একটা অ্যাগ্রো বেসড প্রজেক্ট স্থাপন করতে যাচ্ছি আজকে ধন্যবাদ আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার নাম লতিফি গ্রামীণ ট্রাস্ট মালিকা কলেজ ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ক গুড মর্নিং মোহাম্মদ শাহবাতুর রশিদ তিলক ডাইরেক্টর ইনস্টিটিউট অফ ট্যুরিজম অ্যান্ড হোটেল ম্যানেজমেন্ট আমি নীলুফর নাহার অবসরপ্রাপ্ত অধ্যাপিকা সমাজ কল্যাণ বিভাগ নটরডেম কলেজ বর্তমানে আমি পিরোজপুর জেলায় মঠবাড়িয়াতে একটা গ্রামের মহিলাদেরকে নিয়ে একটা সংস্থা অর্গানাইজ করছি I'm Jihan Jennifer Hassan from PACE RDSS. It's supporting the organization that um, Mrs. Nilufa Nahari is working on. Assalamualaikum. Hassan Shibli, Managing Director, Muslim Textile Mills Limited. Assalamualaikum. Meerushan Saudi, Grameen Trust. Assalamualaikum. Aminur Rahman Nassim, Netcom Product. Assalamualaikum. Amir Mohamad Redwan Hussain. কলামিস্ট এবং সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্কার আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি এম ডি মাহমুদ হাসান শাহ টিচার জগন্নাথ ইউনিভার্সিটি ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ইকোনমিক্স থ্যাংক ইউ সবাইকে আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার নাম মুস্তা হাসান আমি এক্সিকিউটিভ ডিরেক্টর বাংলাদেশ ফার্টিলাইজার্স অ্যান্ড অ্যাক্ট কেমিক্যালস লিমিটেড নমস্কার আমি রামপ্রসাদ দত্ত চিটং থেকে আছি নবীন উদ্যোক্তা আসসালামাইকুম আমি মোহাম্মদ সুলাইমান খান নির্বাহী প্রধান ক্রিট একটা এনজিও আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার নাম মোসামত মুন্নি বেগম আমার একজন নাম ভোরের আলো মহিলা সংস্থা শেরপুর আন্তরিক শুভেচ্ছা আমি মোহাম্মদ জসিম উদ্দিন নির্বাহী পরিচালকের দায়িত্বে আছি বহুমুখী পল্লী উন্নয়ন সংস্থা নওগাঁ থেকে আসছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম আসসালামু আলাইকুম ইব্রাহিম জাকারিয়া ও ইসলামিক ইউনিভার্সিটি অফ টেকনোলজি Hello everyone, my name is Abdul Malik Muhammad Yusuf. I am from Nigeria. I study mechanical and chemical engineering at the Islamic University of Technology, Budbada. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Khandokar Mustafa Ezraman. I am Gramin Kola. I am Gramin Kola. This is Dr. Saiful Aydil Dar, Bangladesh Human Rights Commission, Secretary General. Assalamu alaikum. মিশুদীপ দাস নবীন উদ্যোক্তা সবাইকে শুভেচ্ছা আমি পরিতোষ দেব গ্রামীণ ব্যাংক সদস্য সন্তান আসসালামাইকুম আমি তারিক সাইফুল্লাহ জাসু অ্যাগ্রো ফিশারিজ ম্যানেজিং ডাইরেক্টর জি আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমি এম ডি নজরুল ইসলাম ন্যাশনাল এক্সিকিউটিভ কমিটি মেম্বার বাংলাদেশ হিউম্যান রাইটস কমিশন আসসালামু আলাইকুম অ্যান্ড গুড মর্নিং মাই নেম ইস তৌসিফ জামাল আই এম দ্য ফাউন্ডার অফ আনিয়া ফাউন্ডেশন Uh, we are basically a team of 12 consultants. Uh, we reach out to local companies and tell them about social marketing. Um, I am here to know more about social business because I feel that if we can merge social marketing and social business, it can create wonders. So, uh, hope to have a learning session. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am Faisal Ahmed, Nobinu Dutta from my mission. Assalamu alaikum. I am Shonjim Nandi Mojumdar. আমি মৌলিবাজারের শ্রীমঙ্গল থেকে আসছি নবীন উদ্যোক্তা আসসালাম আলাইকুম আমি আব্দুল সালাম ফ্রম সাতচিরা আসসালাম আলাইকুম আমি সাইফুল ইসলাম রহমান গ্রামীণ কল্যাণ গুড মর্নিং মিজিম ইসরিক আমি ইনচার্জ অফ আইজি গ্রুপ টেক্স অফ সোশ্যাল বিজনেস ইন বাংলাদেশ আসসালাম আলাইকুম আমি মাহফুজা পারভিন গ্রিন ওয়ার্ল্ড ওয়ার্ল্ডের অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট ডিরেক্টর সেক্রেটারিয়েট ইন্টারন্যাশনাল হিউম্যান রাইটস কমিশন and IIC Bangladesh chapter near Kasukchi thank you 
আসসালামু আলাইকুম আমার নাম হাবিবুল্লাহ মানব মুক্তি সংস্থা এমএমএস লোকাল এনজিও আমি ডিরেক্টর হিসেবে কাজ করি সিরাজগঞ্জ বেজ থ্যাংক ইউ হাই আই এম সান্ড্রা फ्रॉम সুইজারল্যান্ড ইন্টার্ন অ্যাট ইউনো সেন্টার আসসালামু আলাইকুম গুড মর্নিং আমি নোনো फ्रॉम জাপান ইউনো সেন্টার Good morning. I'm Sonia from Italy and I'm having an internship at the Yuno Center. Good morning. I'm Dr. Mohammad Arif Jamal Khan, physician and research investigator ICDDRB. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shahlum Siddiqui, field research manager ICDDRB. Assalamu alaikum. Ashan Habib, Gramin Byabsha Vikash. Assalamu alaikum. Amar naam Tamim, ami Gramin Trust e kaaj kori. Assalamu alaikum. Ashan Rahim, lecturer at North South University. Mrs. Farid Amani Shahidullah, I was uh, uh, Vice Principal in a Scholastica, now I am working with the uh, Operatio Bangladesh. I have uh, formulated this uh, organization to work with the uh, poor women in the Kushtia district and we are working on the social issue. Okay, thank you. And for the, uh, you know, the protest <laughs> about the Gamin Bank, you know, what is the conspiracy is going on. Thank you. Thank you. I think we come to the end of our uh, introduction part. and i'm very impressed by the diversity of the participation i'm very happy that we could uh, have a, the presence of all of you now this is a presentation on the global social business summit just held in kuala lumpur those who uh, did not present they will have a chance to have a glimpse and those who were present they will kind of go back to the memory channel Good morning Kuala Lumpur and welcome to the Global Social Business Summit. 3 2 1 goes into the air. You're in the cockpit now. 550 pilots flying this water plane. There you go. Let's have a great great summit 2013 in Kuala Lumpur. Thank you and welcome all of you. Uh, still there are always uh, people who suffer poverty who are being marginalized elderly disabled uh, all need help and our ministry is this is our work is people empowerment to make them more social uh, economically and even best create that beautiful jungle of social businesses that ha has been created in bangladesh also in other countries and so we looked at um, the business world and how the business world creates an other businesses around them and they have done that in many ways in the venture capital so they've created venture capital funds and incubators that's what the tech industry does in many other industries and that's how they build an ecosystem every one of us should have at least 5 15 years old and be a mentor for them try not you know we have my vision here and other people so try to be so individual as things are not yet in there if at all possible thank you it is a 9.5 crore and uh, looking for a partner or investor uh, well investors get ready uh, good project coming up 6.5 crore yeah So altogether, it is uh, 16 crore projects. Actually, uh, I just go through the, gone through this project and several meetings already been done with the entrepreneur. Uh, year to year, uh, <coughs> five years projection is there. The total uh, working capital also required little bit high. Initially, the first year it is 5.5 crore taka, and it, uh, gradually it will increase and <coughs> it will goes up to the 9.5 crore. So revenue is 23.5 crore taka and it will goes up to 40 crore. So average revenue per year in between five years, it is 36 crore. And the net profit is coming. Uh, yes, I am coming 4.5 crore in the first year net profit and the last year the projected is 6.5. So average six crore taka is a profit and three years payback period. <coughs> so it is a very lucrative project for us, but. because of technology is new but it is a proven technology the factory already is in taiwan and in china as well though it is a 
bit high cost project and it is not actually uh, uh, in the markets new for here. So we need to go more detail on technology, technological side, financial side and the marketing side. The marketing aspect till now we uh, would not entered into the marketing aspect. So the, I'm, I'm thinking it is a very potential project. I'm very much optimistic this project will comes up. But next uh, design lab, I will come with a concrete proposal for this. Is, to the, go ahead. is the entrepreneur here today? <coughs> Mr. Alamin, the architect? No. No, it's no, not here. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. And the project is in Yeah, Bahia. he has some questions. Uh, have you tested any uh, 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 lab test or have you achieved any certification of this uh, BUET or uh, any organization or institutions? Uh, actually, it is not till now in Bangladesh. No factory is in here, but it is producing in China and Vietnam. So this product is widely used in other countries. So it is a uh, it, technology is new for uh, Bangladesh. Parveen wants to add a little bit of information. He did some test, you know, because he has. Oh, he bought this some profile and tested it. Yeah. Anyway, it, it will be done. Without that, will not proceed. Uh, so thank you. Is that it? Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope uh, it will come back uh, to this audience next lab or the following lab. Is next lab next maybe lab. because actually most of the paperwork at the has final been done. stage. Very good. It's, it's proceeding very final well. Stage. Thank you, Ashraf. Thank you for supporting it. Now we go to Imam Sultan. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I have been nominated uh, as a project bond of three projects. The first project was a water project, this mini water purification project, it was abundant. And second, it's a layer project, uh, this is layer chicken uh, for egg. The project was presented by Nobin Uddokta. The project is going to finalize now and there is a declaration today. And the third project is a hospital project. The entrepreneur is uh, the foundation and it might be a joint collaboration with Grameen Telecom Trust. Uh, so I met with this person two days before and this project actually the project cost is around 100 million taka and they want 60 percent finance for this project it will be a secondary level hospitals uh, near to Dhaka or within the Raqqa city uh, the floor area will be around 15,000 to 70,000 square meter uh, sorry square feet uh, 15,000 to 17,000 square feet and they actually want to uh, invest the money for uh, equipments, furniture, etc. Not the building because building cost will be high like 9 million, 90 million taka. So they want to uh, start with a rented building first at the beginning and uh, uh, currently they are negotiating with Grameen Telecom Trust for all the financial matter. That is the stage now. So they have, uh, I think Grameen Telecom Trust given them some format to uh, give some information for financial analysis, analyze, analyzing the project. That is the situation now. So that's I know. So far. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so any investor interested in this project may contact Sultan or uh, Parveen from the Grameen Telecom Trust uh, so that they can work it out. Uh, again, just a point. Rented building for a hospital probably not a good idea. So we have to be careful what you want to do that. They, must, they said if anybody can erect the building, they can train the building at the initial and they can... When you're discussing like, it, that yes. should be a very important point to discuss. Are, no, the, we have discussed about two options. One is land purchase, but then the cost will be more. Uh, and another is... Uh, but they are preferring to be on the rental premises. Already they have some projects on rental premises. Uh, the next person is Zaki Omar, Zaki Omar. Social, business social business for disabled people. Zaki. Sound, sir, and congratulations on hosting such a successful uh, social business summit. Um, just to refresh our collective memories, uh, I was nominated uh, as the project Bondhu for the project um, to work with disabled people um, and to generate employment for them um, in the RMG sector. Uh, the initial proposal placed before the design lab was uh, concerning um, 
setting up of, of, a, of a factory consisting on um, um, people with disabilities as employees. Uh, but then we've been suggested to actually go back to the drawing board and uh, look at the sustainability model um, and have a closer look at it. Uh, we went back and dissected the whole business model and um, came back with a revised one, which now consists of um, a three-pronged approach. First being that we will create um, what we call a backward linkage facility for uh, existing big RMG uh, units so that they can um, outsource out of the capacities to um, our units, uh, which will be run and um, uh, functioned by uh, people with disabilities. Secondly, our existing skill development center for um, uh, people with disabilities will continue. Probably we will expand. Do you have any particular type of disability in mind or in general? Um, general, but um, uh, people who are still able with their disability to function and run the machines uh, in the RMG sector. And in our experience, they often do it better than the, the regular employees because of their focus and dedication and commitment to work. Mostly deaf people, maybe? Deaf, uh, not blind, uh, with maybe one leg uh, missing, crippled. handicapped and yeah, crippled. Handicapped, yeah. um, thirdly, we will also start functioning as a recruitment and placement agent uh, after the training so that we can actually leverage on that and start placing these people in various garments units across the country. Uh, for the prospective investors, we have done a bit of homework with the industry. With me is one of the um, uh, industry representative from the RMG sector. Uh, so he'll speak uh, just a couple of minutes on the feasibility as well. Um, but so far, it looks like a good prospect. We hope to be uh, bringing back in the next design lab for the launching phase, hopefully. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, I guess uh, we have. I've started uh, employing a person with disability in my uh, facility, and uh, I guess my understanding is uh, there's a gross misperception regarding disability uh, and a taboo in our country uh, because uh, logically they are not disabled per se in terms of productivity. And uh, to add to what he said, that uh, they're much more focused. I have um, uh, employed uh, people with uh, visual disability and getting uh, a better, uh, I guess, productivity uh, in terms of particular service area. But I believe that uh, I'm interested to get into this social business uh, framework because uh, this challenges the existing uh, taboos in society, and we can. Uh, I guess, tap into this resource. Thank you very much. That's a very good news. Uh, Ashap would like to present another one with yeah, the bi uh, biomass. Uh, this project was presented in uh, the last uh, uh, social business design lab. And maybe he is here. He is Mr. Uh, Sharkar Adhendu as an engineer. Yeah, he is here. So project is, it is an independent power plant, it has a small power plant with a 50 kilowatt. The fuel is rice, rice husk or sawdust. So actually the, they planned at that time to set up 10 power plants with a cost of 60 million taka, 6 crore taka. So just uh, during the discussion of the last design lab and also consequent several discussion with him, uh, we just uh, we face some challenges that uh, we'll go for uh, 10 projects or not, 10 unit uh, together with not, with all our 50 kilowatt or not. So finally we came to a solution that six unit can be the uh, break even with one year and all will not be in 50 kilowatt. So three will be in 50 kilowatt and three will be in uh, 25 kilowatt. And then other challenges was uh, how we'll use this fly ash. After burning the rice husk, a lot of fly ash will come up. So disposing these things is a really, really uh, tough. So we thought that what we can do, the silica production, one of the, uh, maybe the solution, other is sell it to the clinker, uh, sorry, cement factory, or make it compost. So finally we come to a solution, we can make a fly ash bricks. So actually then I just give him some task 
to bring a new project in addition of this power plant, the additional subsidiary project to manufacturing uh, fly ash bricks. So the raw materials is required is fly ash and cement, uh, brick chips, dust uh, and sand. So both are available and it is also very much environmental friendly. So he will present today the fly ash bricks projects. So all together if I calculate whatever ash will be generated fly ash and then we can man ma manage more than 4 million bricks in terms of uh, uh, local bricks volume. We will make a different profiles, not only the regular bricks, and then we will reduce the carbon emission if we consider the actually local bricks, 15 ton, uh, uh, 1,500 ton per year, 380 ton wood we can save, coal we can save 700 tons, and soil saving is 1,900 tons per year. So it is a good uh, environmental benefit and friendly projects. So all together, so actually today I need to get permission uh, from the design lab side to get uh, immediately go ahead for this uh, independent power plant project. But all together if we mix it and he will present today, so next design lab I will come with the both and the total project cost is around 7 crore taka. So hopefully it will be another good project from the design. 70 million taka. Thank you. That sounds very good. So this, with this we conclude the updating of the uh, discussion in the past labs and updating on the status of the various projects. So now we go into the new presentations. New presentations as usual will be 5 minutes presentation and 10 minutes discussion. The first one of course is the fly ash brick production, the one just Ashraf concluded with. So let's have the fly ash. And this is the flow chart of the biomass gasification and the plant will produce 70% fly ash of consumed biomass. That whatever we are using, the 70% will convert it as a fly ash. And that fly ash we can convert it to the brick and the next project is a forward link project of existing one. This is the bricks made from fly ash. There are various pictures. You can see that this is the use of your fly ash bricks. Mostly it is very much used in China. Then it is firstly used in India. Then uh, Taiwan is there. Again uh, Thailand is using this. And for Bangladesh this might be the first one. And what do we do? This is a social objective, affordable, reliable and environment friendly bricks made from the fly ash. And uh, you can say considering the present bricks which is made from the clay, uh, that is, you know, something it is uh, destroying our environment. But this will give uh, environment friendly and these bricks are three times stronger than the conventional one. And the fly ash we will be collecting from our power plant and it will solve the problem of dumping because this is a huge uh, biomass. The dumping is a big problem. So we will just reuse it, this one. And these are the machineries uh, will be required for the uh, project. This is a completely automated project. Mostly six or seven people will be required to run this. and. Uh, area also it's not very small. This is the yearly revenue per plant. This is a uh, 2 crore 62 lakhs 50,000. This per annum this is a cells. Uh, total brick fly ash will be making approximately 35 lakhs per annum at 80% capacity. The cost of production it is a 6.57 it is coming. Selling price we are uh, considering 7.5 because the normal clay brick is uh, now it is a 7.58 uh, the per pieces and the beauty of this brick is you don't need to go for the plastering uh, inside and this will reduce the load of the building so the construction cost will be less simply you can go for color in place of plastering this will save money this will save manpower uh, and any other things and this is the fly ash will be required 700 
thousand kg per annum. We have considered that all the carrying cost and all together, it will cost us fifty pasha per kg. Then this is a sandstone will be required nine lakh kg. The cement uh, will be around one lakh twenty ton. And the, the labor related is a 25 lakhs. Repairs and maintenance we considered 5 lakhs only. Uh, the electric cost will come here uh, 10 lakhs per annum. Though we are going for a biomass project, power plant, but probably we are not going to use our own power plant for this one. It, it depends. Because here it is the requirement is around almost 90 kilowatt uh, for running this project. So we may use the government power or rural electrification board. And th this is a land of plant location. We considered this 35 lakhs. Equipment of automatic plant, this is a uh, 90 lakhs. Uh, accessories for flyers, brick, it is around 25 lakhs. Installation commissioning, around 10 lakhs. Civil works, total 20 lakhs. Though it is only caring is required, but we need a shed for, for the fast day production to keep under the shed. Uh, so that the uh, rain and other things should not damage this. Uh, and this is a social impact. Uh, the, the, uh, here the carbon emission will be reduced by 1500 ton if you consider the present bricks, which makes 35 lakhs bricks per annum. Uh, this is a study done by your World Bank and the United Nations for Bangladesh. This is a 2011, they made this study, uh, 1500 tons. Then the cost effective, reduce building dead weight. Uh, so construction cost and even the foundation cost will be reduced from the uh, present uh, the, this one. And the firewood we are using in the brick fields, this is 380 tons will be saved uh, by this plant. And the coal saving will be around 700 tons per annum. And the land excavation, this is a very big problem now. Even the existing you know, brick field, they are also facing the same problem. Getting clay is a very difficult. So this problem also will be solved out. This is a 9,000 tons per annum will be saved. And this is the last. And uh, for fly ash brick, uh, if this is the first one, but the government, uh, they have told the, the, the dump pulp pl uh, plant they are going for. From there, they are going to start one. And uh, Maybe in future we can also buy the fly ash from them to increase the capacity of production. And, uh, and many the small rice mills are available in the locality. So fly ash will be getting uh, at not a problem at all. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. You. Very good. Now we have the time for questions. Anybody? Let me start. The moisture absorption by the bricks, you said it will be painted, it don't, doesn't need plastering. Do you have any uh, test on that? How much uh, moisture Actually, the moisture absorption will be less than the clay brick because this is a highly compact one. Mm. Uh, highly compact, this one. Okay, let's hope so. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Parveen. Regarding the regulatory issues, do you have to go to the uh, Energy Regulatory Commission for this kind no, of project? No. Up to 5 mega, there is uh, nothing is required. Any more questions? And one more yes. point also that yeah. the government has uh, declared for this RS, RAPS, is it, Rural Area Power Supply System. For th under this uh, scenario, we can get all government benefit, and but no need any permission. Only NBR we have to inform that we have gone for this, so th that will give some tax holiday, I think. Sultan, you have mentioned the payback period is for six years within six years from setting up the project or from production of the project. Is Definitely this is for the production of the project. Of the project. Yeah. So, and you have seen that 32 lakh taka you will earn for uh, income, revenue, uh, sorry, total net income will be around 30 lakh taka per year, you have mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. So, and your project cost is around uh, 2 plus crore taka, then how? Actually, this is the production we have mentioned here. This is a 50% of the plant capacity. Just we have uh, considered here because first thing, first year maybe we will uh, face some challenges, uh, getting fly ash and other things. 
but the, from the next year on what this capacity will increase into 70 lakhs per annum the same plant can produce and you have to bring the ash from different places so you, have, you will have a very substantial uh, carrying cost for bringing the okay. ash 40 percent ash will come from our own plant and the 60 percent we have to buy but the area we have chosen there are many uh, you know small rice producing mills uh, every day they can give us one ton two tons there are 10 and 15 20 is within the one kilometer one square kilometer what do they do with the fly ash now the uh, small rice husk people they are simply they have dumpings and uh, some Dumping. are selling to the compost manufacturer Nice. That is going to, you know, Noapara is there. They have some facilities to make compost. So that has a compost possibility too? Yes. But the f financially, this one is the most viable one. Okay. Yes, please. And where will you lo locate this? Uh, mostly power plant, we have initially have selected Faridpur Jila. The plant also will be located in Faridpur because if we put this plant in Dhaka, the carrying cost will be very high for ash. So you have to be basing it around the, uh, where the husks yeah. are, uh, so yes. it will be near the factory, uh, rather agricultural yep. production. Okay. Yes. Any more questions? Yep, please, go ahead. Dr. Daraya Bulta Habe, Shonghi Dr. Mike Tadi Habe. Aapne Rai Sastik ji power dhukhun kote jat chen. Rajasthan's GDP per kilocalorie power generation will be. She said that is sufficient to produce power. Mike, that you have to move your attention. I mean, I just said that Rajasthan's GDP. You have to burn it. The GDP per kilocalorie you have to burn it. She said that is possible to produce electricity. I mean, you have to by means of I mean, you have waste heat generation. That is, or I mean, key process of your power generation. What is that? This is a basically pyrolysis one. The fire uh, will be given to the husk and from there there will be carbonization. Then the air and this uh, carbonization mix it will make methane. The methane gas will be used for the running generators. I think that is gas concentration. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that is sufficient because the plant we are the plant here is a very small capacity, not very big. This is a 50 kilowatt will be going and the 25 kilowatt. Actually, in fact, what I I heard about some tire paralysis, tire waste tire paralysis. I don't know. Maybe you have seen it. You're more acquainted with this thing. Just just I am inquiring. Uh, so tire paralysis is a little different one. Different. That is extracting the oil from the Yes, exactly. uh -huh. And here we are actually uh, husk, first it is a carbonizing we are doing by firing. And through the carbonized uh, husk, we are passing the air. Oh, maybe that's the difference. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any functioning plants like that in Bangladesh using the same method here? Yeah, this uh, rice husk power generation one is available. It is financed by it call. Uh, 250 kilowatt. This is running in Kaliakur, and again the it call is looking for the entrepreneur for this. Uh, How is it running? How is it functioning? It's running have information nicely. On that? Yes. I think it's good to have experience. Yeah, that is uh, that, that pro plant is built under this uh, RSPS that is gov government uh, system. The Kaliakur that area doesn't have any power, but the facility is that if the government go through that area. Uh, they will make an agreement with the plant uh, this uh, entrepreneur the government will buy this even for our cases also the when the national grid will go through that uh, we can supply this to the grid is it in functioning condition now it's yeah it's okay. functioning condition now are they happy with it yeah good uh, it is maintained by it call basically what is it it call is the infrastructure. No, 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 no. We projected Namtaki. Uh, the name I cannot tell. Sir. Yeah. Uh, I have inquired this from it call. I had a meeting with them. Have you visited it? Uh, I have not visited that. I one. think you should. So we team Very go important. over there and have a look. 
And uh, they are manufacturing silica from out of this uh, rice husk. It's good to see. After all, they're doing something and you may have some ideas coming from that, yeah. Yeah. Farid. Okay. He has a long hand. <laughs> okay. Uh, any more question? If yeah. not, yeah. Go ahead, please. Please, I think, uh, I think your proposal is very interesting. My question for you is, how is it better than the previous process in terms of impact on the environment and the energy consumption? This is, uh, for energy consumption, this and the environment level, this bricks plants, you don't need to go for fire. This is simple curing. Uh, you make the brick, then you give the water, like your, our own construction building, what we are doing. Uh, after doing construction, we are, you know, giving the water for a few days. Here also the same. So you don't need to burn coal or, uh, you know, wood, nothing. But you have machineries there, right? No, machineries we have to import. Yeah, so you are going to power the machineries? Yes, surely. And uh, the beauty is this brick plant again is that you can go for any kind of shape. Uh, just you need a mold. Uh, any more questions? Yes, please, go ahead. Uh, what is the background information to organize this business? The who initiated at first this business? And, and on what basis you organize this basis business? See, anything new is a challenge. And I love to do this. And selling and uh, make doing marketing is uh, uh, it's not a big problem at all. On things you have to, uh, you know, the convince the people. That depends on you, how confident you are and how you are describing to the people. Uh, simply if you uh, sell, tell that, okay, buy this, nobody will buy. Even even a new brick plant, this clay brick you uh, put in the area, no one will come and ask, give me this someone. You have, you have to do the marketing, surely, for this. And uh, we have uh, some planning for this, that we will make some samples uh, in a wall or something, say our own office can be built uh, out of this. So people can see how good looks Thank you. it is. Any more questions? Area, total area, you need that thing. And uh, there is also a supplementary question is that, that you state that in the size of the bricks, but I just checked the internet that if it is oversized, then there is a problem of cracking. Another thing is that, you know, that in the stair, when you just make the roofs, we just use the mortar. But there is a big problem with this um, husk brick because it cannot be used as a mortar. And one thing is that due to size shape, uh, is the uniform size. So uh, the bond is, bond is with one brick to another for making the walls and all these things. So it's a very difficult task. But although I'm telling you there are so many uh, merits on that and eco-friendly what Sar is saying, so many things that. But there are some limited uh, demerits as well. And one thing I'd like to share that is there any building constructed already in Bangladesh? Bangladesh China and Korean machineries তৈরি যেটা কি প্যাশার দিয়ে মেশিন ব্রিক তো সাইন্টিফিক দিক দিয়ে মেশিন ব্রিকটা হলো স্টোনের পরিবর্তে কাজ করে কিন্তু এই ব্রিকটা আমরা যেটা আপনার আমরা হলো ব্রিক বলি এবং এটা কংক্রোট কংক্রোট বাংলাদেশে একটা বড় কোম্পানি আছে ওরাই মেইনলি এই এটা কি বাংলাদেশে আবির্ভাব করেছে কংক্রোট এখানে করিম ভাইয়ের মতো ওরিয়ান গ্রুপের প্রেসিডেন্ট করিম ভাই আছেন উনি আরও ভালো বলতে পারবে কারণ উনি লট অফ ব্রিক ইউজ করে এবং বাংলাদেশের যখন ফ্লাইওভারগুলো হচ্ছে উনি এগুলো করতেছেন তা আমার মনে হয় এই আপনার একটু ক্লিয়ার করা দরকার যে মেশিন ব্রিক এবং এই হলো ব্রিকের মধ্যে কত পার্সেন্ট ইউজেবল এবং আপনার লাইফ কতটুকু আমরা যতটুকু জানি যে এটা ফর্টি পার্সেন্ট লাইফ আর মেশিন বিকটা হান্ড্রেড পার্সেন্ট লাইফ তো আপনার কাছে থেকে আমরা এটা একটু ক্লিয়ার জানতে চাচ্ছি ফার্স্ট থিং জল দিতে হবে না এটা নিজেরা আলাপ করে নেন যেহেতু আমাদের সময় শেষ হয়ে গেছে উই ক্যান কন্টিনিউ ডিউরিং দ্য গ্রুপ ডিসকাশন দিস ইস্যু ক্যান বি রেইস এন্ড ডিসকাশন থ্যাংক ইউ एवरीबॉडी थैंक यू वेरी मच जस्ट गिव अ बिग अप्लॉज थैंक यू थैंक यू रिपन
And now we move to the next one, Rice Husk Briquette Factory. It's a Nobinuk Dukta project, Ram Prashad and Vepshavikash. Ram Prashad, it's a Nobinuk Dukta, meaning uh, the son of uh, Grameen Bank borrower. I'm Ram Prashad Dukta, Dr. Kram Amar Bari. I'm a Shikadote, ACC Pash. I'm a Amar Mat Tulushirani Dukta. Baish pass only show Ostash Alata to be Botra Gram in Benke, Tinata Taker in the Shodoshapot Lap current. Ami Bottomane Amade Elaka Otto Rice Mill as our rice milk is Dana Tush by the Pelito. Ugulu Niami Ati Amar Kalaraki Utpan Karna Talopuri Ami Pans Botrake. কালো লাকড়ি তো মধ্যে আমি আমার আর দুটি মেশিন বসাতে দুটি মেশিনে মূল্য আছে 3 লক্ষ টাকা ট্রান্সফরমার বৈদ্যুতিক আছে 2 লক্ষ টাকা কারখানা সেট আসবাবপত্র 2 লক্ষ টাকা মূলধন আছে 2 লক্ষ টাকার প্রয়োজন ওখানে আমার হাতে 2 লক্ষ আর 7 লক্ষ টাকার প্রয়োজন ওই 7 লক্ষ টাকা আমি আমার ব্যবসার মধ্যে প্রথম বছরে লাভ হবে এবং তার ছাত্র